Hello students, I'm going to take you through step by step and we're going to do the task where you put yourself into a famous work of art. The first thing that I did, and I've actually done this before I started the video, is I have chosen the work of art out of the samples that I provided on the R drive and I have taken a photo of myself on my computer. So I'm not going to show you me doing those things in this tutorial. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open an image. Um, so I'm going to go to the R drive this PC to our R drive. I am looking for the folder. I'm hitting a D here to go to Digital Tech Omara, Selfie Art, and I'm actually going to be working with American Gothic, which seems to have been popular with students. So this is now a layer. So it is the background layer of my work of art. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the File menu and Place, and I'm going to place the photo of me in there. Now as you can see I'm navigated through to selfie art, so I'm going to my libraries, my pictures, my camera roll, which is somewhere down here. Now it's a little bit hard to find, I must confess, so why don't I actually have a look at things in details. There we go. So I should be able to hit C for camera roll, there it is. And there's the photo that I'm going to place. Now there's the photo of me. So I'm going to move it up to roughly where it should be and then I'm going to place it. So I hit enter to place it in the photo. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to the lasso tool and I'm going to cut out my head but with a fairly generous margin around it because I don't want to risk losing some of that precious image. So now I've selected it, I right click and I layer via copy. So I'm making a new layer with just what I've selected. So now I in fact have three layers. I have my background, which is American Gothic. I have the full photo of me in my cycling top, although it looks a bit like I'm going to the dentist there. And I have the layer of just my face. Or actually my whole head, because my face is not as large as my whole head. I'm going to right click on that one, that whole photo of me and I'm going to delete that layer. So I agree to that. And now I have my head more or less on the right spot. Now what I'm going to do is I actually might think, I'm going to zoom in on that using the zoom in button here. I'm going to zoom in some more and now I'm going to get the eraser which here looks like an eraser and I'm certain that I'm absolutely staring at it. There it is and I'm going to change the brush size. Yeah I reckon about 50 pixels should be fine for this because I actually want to do quite a bit and so oh undo. I was erasing the background. I select the layer that that picture's on. And now as I erase it, what I see behind it, so, so where you make a mistake, just go up to File, Undo. It's not a disaster. You know, it doesn't feel good to make mistakes. So I'm going through it, and I'm going to do this while I've got you guys in the video, so you see what it's about. Now, I want to do it. I might even zoom in a bit more, just because I feel like I feel a bit clumsy. I'm here and I even zoom in a bit more because I really want to get this right. So going back to my eraser and here I'm erasing everything that is not my scone. I want it to be nice and smooth. I really want to get it down to the pixel. There. Around here. There we go. I can see, in fact, I can see his head there and that's a bit of an issue because I don't want to um I don't want to actually be able to see his head. I want it to look like so there's my neck and in fact my shoulders. So what I'm gonna do is I go up there, because if possible I'm gonna tr put, try and put my neck into this photo and then I might erase it if I need to. Which I actually suspect I'm going to need to. Okay, I'm actually pretty happy with that as a job. Um, but what I'm gonna do is zoom out now. So I go back to my magnifying glass. There it is. Press minus up the top and I zoom out. Okay, I actually think I've made my head too large. So I make sure I'm on the layer that's got my head in it and I go up to Edit, Edit, Free Transform. I'm going to move my head over to the side. You know what, I think I can probably keep my neck because there's a fair bit of his neck in there. But I'm going to try and make myself the same shape as him. Hmm, I actually think I've made my head a bit too long there, so I'm bringing it down and trying to put it back over. 
Mm, now you can see his head there, so I might actually have to make my head a little bit wider. Roughly have my chin where his chin is now. Got a bit of a pickle in a bit of a pickle here because his head is broader than mine. And so that's about where my head should be, but I've actually got that background there. Now I actually think that I can probably get away with that because if I blur that a bit, that will probably look like that's just hair on the side of my head, but it does make my head Maybe I might start try stretching my head a bit to cover that. Yeah, now I might... No, I can't shrink it much. And in fact, his ear is peeking out there, so I'm going to come across a little bit on this side. Uh, but then my neck's becoming a problem. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Enter to lock that in, and I'm going to zoom back in, and I'm going to see if I can what I can do by way of getting rid of my neck to make me fit into this photo better. So, I'm going to grab that eraser again. I'm sorry if this is a bit boring, but you know, this stuff takes time. So I grab the eraser and I'm going to erase bits of my neck so that, so that it's not so obvious. And I'm going to erase a few of the bits around the side because my beard's tricky because it's not a smooth shape, my beard. So that is a problem. Okay, Be for the purpose of this, I'm going to say that'll do, but what I am going to do is I'm going to grab the smoothing tool here and I'm going to get myself a decent sized brush and I'm going to go around the edges. I'm going to smooth it a bit. Now this is almost imperceptible, but what it is doing is it's softening those pixels there so that it's not so clear where we're jumping between the old image and the new image. So now I'm going to zoom out again. I go down to that. I zoom out. There we go. Now I go File, Save As. I save not as a Photoshop file because they're huge. I save it as a JPEG. American Gothic, I'm going to save it to my desktop. American um, Gothic. Ah, now. So no, I don't want to replace it. American Gothic Omara. Save. It's going to be a 2 megabyte file, which is a perfectly good size. And now I have completed this task.